Bottom line, Porsche says e-fuel in a combustion engine car would achieve an 85% reduction in CO2, which they claim is about on par with an EV. Again, because of the upstream pollution created by power generation for electricity. All right, guys, so welcome back. Thank you for hanging out, spending a few moments here with me. If you're new, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Now, today, we're gonna to be talking about how the V8 is going to be living on. A lot of people are a little bit on the downside, and that's because of all this EV news. A lot of these companies are, are headed in that direction. If they roll out all these EVs and nobody's buying them, then you know they're gonna to have to adjust accordingly. And that's exactly what happened in the 80s and the 90s. They believed that you know the turbo four cylinder and turbo six cylinders were going to be the future. And you know, the second that they developed new technology to save the V8, make them more efficient, higher powered. Uh, you know, you saw the, the sales go back up and dominate. So that's exactly what I think is going to be happening. Now, the clip that I want to show you guys is the advancement in actual fueling. So not only will the V8 improve with a hybrid type of system, I think that they're going to marry a smaller displacement V8 with some kind of a performance hybrid motor. I also believe that there's going to be advancements in fueling to make it zero emissions. And, you know, I tried explaining this in prior videos and, uh, you know, I'm not really the, the most knowledgeable about this kind of stuff, but if you have a great product, people are going to buy it. And the V8 was a, you know, a home run from day one. Everybody loved it and everybody's going to continue loving it in the future. It's just the technology has to advance. Hybrid performance? Believe it. Fact is, these vehicles are packed with more get up and go than you might realize. And that's largely because their electric motors produce their power immediately. In contrast, fuel burning engines build up power as the engine speed, or RPM, increases. Electric motors don't do this. They're simply always ready to deliver full power. So being a combination of these two systems, hybrids can enjoy the electric motor's instant torque for quick launches, as well as traditional high-speed performance offered by the gasoline engine. The end result is hybrid vehicles that can boast performance that not only matches, but often exceeds the performance of their gas-only counterparts. So it's no wonder many race cars are now turning to hybrid technology for that extra edge. With their perfect blend of efficiency and performance, it's clear that hybrids represent the future of driving. So I'm gonna roll the footage of this uh, video explaining the advancements in fueling and what's going to actually save the V8. While the whole world's going nuts for electric cars, Porsche's working on a cleaner gasoline. It's called e-fuel. Let's find out when it arrives, what it's made of, and who it's for. Now, on its face, a car that burns any kind of fuel, e or otherwise, would seem to be dirtier than any car that doesn't burn anything, like an electric car. But Porsche's talking about full life cycle analysis here, not just tailpipe versus no tailpipe. Electricity's not free environmentally. It typically comes with some generation pollution and transmission inefficiencies, all of which add up to an environmental load. And if they can make, they say, a combustion fuel as clean as the life cycle of electricity, they believe they're onto something. And I believe they are. Creating synthetic gasoline from methane and hydrogen isn't a new concept. It's called the fischer tropsch process. And during World War II, it accounted for 9% of Germany's military fuel and 25% of that used in personal cars. Now, e-fuel, among other components, uses an electrolysis process to crack water into hydrogen and oxygen, not unlike the way you make hydrogen for hydrogen fuel cell cars. But for e-fuel, they harvest those hydrogen molecules to run them through a process developed by Exxon that converts it into synthetic gasoline. The pilot program will be powered by electricity from a wind farm at the tip of Chile. Bottom line, Porsche says e-fuel in a combustion engine car would achieve an 85% reduction in CO2, which they claim is about on par with an EV. Again, because of the upstream pollution created by power generation for electricity. All right, so when does this stuff arrive? A tiny amount in 2022. Porsche says they'll do a pilot run of 34,000 gallons, I think it is, in 22 for testing purposes only, obviously. Then they say if that goes well, by 2026, five years from now, they could make 145 million gallons of it in that year. That's about 0.1% of the amount of gasoline we burned in the U.S. only in 2020. 
So with that being said, let me know what you think in the comments below. I really think he did a great job of articulating uh, what this new fuel technology is. And this is one of a few reasons why I believe that the V8 is eventually going to uh, you know, evolve and come back. I, I really don't believe that the EVs, they're not gonna be here to stay kind of a deal. Again, it's up to the consumer. You know, a lot of these car companies are gonna be releasing these EVs and it's really up to the consumer to decide if they want it or not. And if the sales don't support the amount of money that these manufacturers are putting into the EV technology and producing them, uh, they're just not gonna continue down that route. I don't care how much you know support that they get from outside sources and whatnot, the sales need to be there. And I believe that you know we're gonna see uh, the history repeat itself in this uh, scenario. You could see it in the 80s and the 90s. Eventually, everybody, you know, the technology caught up to the V8, and eventually everybody went back into them. Because let's face it, when you knock it out of the park and you get a great combination like the V8, you know, you get that rumble, the cold start. Um, you know, just everything about it is is so wonderful. What I do know is that the EV. The EVs are coming, and I think we're gonna have at least five or six years before we see a new technology uh, for the V8, and then um, from there, we'll see. Let me know what you think in the comments below, guys, and I'll check you on the next upload. Any, any last words, guys? Anything? I'll see you next time. See you next time. How about you, Mason? You good? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.